What? So seriously, we're compiling our all-time favorite Mythbuster episodes? Yep. I got a few. Totally, this is gonna be awesome. Well, what are you guys standing around for? Let's get started. Oh, crap. So we're all set to launch the top 25 countdown. And it's gonna be a wild ride full of spectacle science and an intriguing insight into the host's personal highlights. Not to mention all those fan favorites you love to see again and again and again. So where do we begin? What do we got? In at 25, the first most memorable Mythbuster moment is in fact the first ever myth. Yep, way back when Adam looked 16 and Jamie looked like Jamie. Our dynamic duo took on the myth of the JATO rocket car. Yes. And to test it, they built their own jet assisted takeoff rockets, attached them to a car, Yeehaw. and hit the desert with mayhem in mind. I'm going to have to have a grinectomy. <laughs> it's funny, after all these years at our first episode, the JATO rocket car is still a fan favorite and still actually really a high point for me and Jamie. Brakes are coming off. We are a go. Sitting in that chopper watching the rocket car take off. Okay, we're in line. Okay, coming out of full throttle. I'm coming home with the electronics. It was just, it was just extraordinary. Go ahead, set them off. Fire it in. Three, two, one, fire. Three, two, one, fire it. Three. I mean, the closest example that I can give to it is that it was like watching some sort of African animal take off really quickly across the savanna. Except this was a car with a rocket on it. I mean, it was beautiful, it was gorgeous. At a classic Mythbuster moment. That was hysterical. That was absolutely outrageous. A hint of the absurd, a dash of engineering, well, and a side good. salad of busted urban myths. Hey! <laughs> ah! That was beautiful! From a single soaring moment in the Mojave to a whole lot of locking and loading. Responsibly, of course. Let's do it. Guns are a part of our standard stock and trade on this show, and I gotta say, I have some reservations about that because, well, they kill people, and that's to be avoided. But that being said, they're often fascinating, elegantly engineered machines that in our hands, where we use materials and tools in ways for which they were never intended. I call it my little pop gun. Things get real interesting real fast. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You're looking at a vegetarian. Hey, nice shot. From California. Let her have it, Carrie. I never expected that I would be a gun person. <laughs> Until I joined Mythbusters. Guns and ammo are part of the Mythbuster tradition, but that relationship is built on respect and an ultra safe environment created by expert armorers and law enforcement officials. And if you see anything unsafe, please report it to the range master. But the moment that fires guns and ammo into number 24 is from the viewer requested mini myth that it was possible to cut down a tree with a machine gun. And after Tori and Grant failed with the small arms, our vegetarian tree-hugging hippie stepped up to ramp it up. One of my all-time favorite moments on Mythbusters was shooting a Gatling gun to mow down a tree. Okay, we're going hot. I had never shot anything this crazy before. In three, two, one. We're talking 30 caliber bullets. 3,000 rounds per minute. 